My favorite thing is to get a personal note from somebody, a thank you note for a little gift, anything at all. Um, it just shows that somebody took the time to, um, you know, to sit down, pick out a card, even if they've got a stack of them, and write something to me. It doesn't, it's not that it's so time consuming, it is thought consuming. I mean, you have to think about what are you gonna say? You don't just say, hey, thank you for the, for the gift. You want the message to be personal. People are shocked when they get a personal note I have a client profile we send out to our clients early on in the transaction telling them that we really want to get to know them better, would they mind filling it out? And we ask questions like, in this case, what do you and your family like to do for fun? What other special interests or hobbies do you have? What are your favorite restaurants is a great one for that particular purpose. I don't want to send them a gift card to a restaurant they don't even like to eat at. Um, do you have pets? What are their names? What are they? Where else have you lived before is a wonderful question. Is there anything unique about anyone in your family that I wouldn't guess? So that's going to their personal interests and things that I can key into. They know that we care about who they are, not just what the deal is. They know that we're getting to know them personally. And, they, and it gives me, I read these when they come in, and sometimes I just chuckle because there's some interesting things in here. I get to find out, oh wow, you've been, you lived in Hawaii for 10 years and, you know, whatever it may be. It, it's a great source of conversation. I think that simplifying is the key. Not making things complicated so that they take you know, a large part of your day, but finding a, a nice, simple way to do them that's clean and efficient and gets the, me you know, the message across is really important. There are people who do cut down the time on personal notes by having their assistant address the envelopes because that's actually one of the more time consuming parts of it is I got to go look up the, you know, go into my CRM, look up the address, handwrite the, the, the envelope. That takes more time than the actual writing of the note. Actually, I don't send Christmas cards, I send Thanksgiving cards because everybody sends Christmas cards. So your card gets buried in the pile of Christmas cards. So I send Thanksgiving cards instead. Little teeny tweaks, that's it. Tweaking what you're doing so that it is different. Uh, I'm a big believer in not doing what the crowd does and the ability to personalize your interactions with them is really critical. Oh, one more thing. I, um, where do I keep those? Here. So I uh, had these Baskin Robbins gift cards customized. I load them with just $3 for an ice cream for the kids of my clients. There's a, there's a message printed into the birthday card that we send them. My assistant does address all of these envelopes and when she writes the birth date where the stamp will go. She prints out a list, emails a PDF of it to me. Remember, she's not here. And I get on the phone with her and I tell her who not to send it to because there are certain people that are either too old at this point or I know that I don't need to send it to them. And then she sits down, takes that list, and she addresses all of the envelopes and puts the dates where the stamp is. And in that card, I put this gift card. When they move out of town, they still keep getting them. I have a client that we sold their home. They had four kids. They moved to Florida. I didn't know that she'd ever be moving back. Kept sending them the, the cards. And one day she calls and says, we're moving back. I needed to buy a house. And, and her testimonial actually referenced these. She said, um, my kids actually know you better almost than I do. They talk about you all the time. So little things, just little things, and then systems to make them easy so that they're not too, they're not too overwhelming.